Hi, let's talk about simple interests. In this exercise, I'll be completing this table. I'll be solving for the final amount, utilizing this force formula or this second formula. That depends on the available, given, or variable in each item. I'll also be solving the interest. Utilizing this formula, interest is equal to the product of the principal amount, the rate, and the time in years. It's very important to convert all these values of time in years. As for our formula, it should only require the time in years. In a similar manner, we'll be computing for the rate utilizing this formula, interest divided by the product of the principal and time expressed in years. So before I start with my computation, I need to make sure that all these values of time should be converted to years. So I have 3 years is equal to 3. 1 year and 6 months, this is similar to 1.5 years. 40 months, we need to divide this by 12 because there are 12 months in a year. So this is equals 40 divided by 12. Press enter and I have 3.33. 560 days, we divide this by 360, the approximate number of days in a year. But if you are told to make use of the exact number of days in a year, that would be 365. In this exercise, I'll be making use of the approximate number of days in a year. So this is equals 540 divided by 360, press enter, and I have 1.25 or 1.5. Same with item number 5, this is equals 460 divided by 360. Press enter and I have 1.28. So let's start with item number 1. For item number 1, let's check if we could utilize the first formula. We need the value for the principal and we need the value for the interest. Unfortunately, the interest is not available, so we'll make use of this second formula. So this is equals the principal, click this value of the principal on this cell, and then this is a multiplication, so press asterisk, and then open parenthesis, 1 plus the rate is located here, so click this cell, multiply to the time which is located in this cell, click this cell, and then close parenthesis. So this is how you place the formula in a spreadsheet, press enter, and the final amount is 21,784. To compute for the interest, we make use of this formula, the product of the principal, the rate, and the time. So this equals the principal times the rate times the time, press enter, and you have a value of 2,334. This value is the same as the difference of the final amount and the principal amount. So I'm complete with item number one. Let's proceed to item number two. Item number two, let's check if we could utilize the first formula. Principal is provided. Interest is also provided. So we simply make use of the first formula. So this is now the sum. This is equals the principal plus the interest. Press enter and you have a value of 19,620. To compute for the rate, this equals the interest divided by the product of the principal and the time. So you have to place this in grouping symbol. Let's open parenthesis. The principal amount is 18,000 exact multiplied to the time which is 1.5 located on this cell then don't forget to place your close parenthesis press enter and you have a value of exactly 6% now for item number 3 final amount this is similar to item number 1 so in spreadsheet you can actually copy your formula so that's control C then control V. So you have a value of 71,958.33. You can also do this on item number 5 because item 1, 2, 3 
have the same given. So you can also paste the formula on item number 5. In a similar manner, you can also do this for the interest. So I have the formula placed on item number 1, paste it on item number 3, and item number 5. There you go. And for item number 4, this is the same with item number 2. The provided given is the same. So I could simply copy the formula placed on item number 2 and place it on item number 4. In a similar manner, in computing for the rate, you simply copy the formula placed on item number 2, place it on item number 4. So that's how simple it is for spreadsheets. Once your formula are in place, you can simply copy it for the same question or the same type of problem. Now for manual computation, this will be another story. Let me show you that part. So this is the same problem. Let's try to do this using manual computation. We have item number one. We'll be utilizing the second formula because the first formula doesn't have the i variable. So this is f is equal to p1 plus rt. f is equal to the principal amount is 19,450. 1 plus the rate now is 0 0.04 multiplied to the time which is 3. Now we need to make use of a calculator so this is now 19,450 multiplied to should be in grouping symbol so that's open parenthesis 1 plus 0 0.04 multiplied to 3 close parenthesis then press enter and you have a value of 21,700 84. In the same manner for the interest, we will be substituting the correct values of the, each variable. So, principal amount is 19,450. The rate is 0 0.04 and the time is 3 years. Utilizing the calculator, I have 19,450 times 0 0.04 times 3 and I have 2,334 there you go item number 2 for item number 2 we can utilize the first formula for final amount because the principal and the interest is provided so I have F is equal to P plus I principal amount is 18,000 exact plus 1,620 and the sum of this is 19,620 to compute for the rate we can derive the formula for the rate from the formula interest is equal to PRT so that's I is equal to PRT we are looking for variable R so we can divide both sides by P and the time so we are now left with R on the right side of the equation so this is R is equal to I divided by PT I value is 1620 divided by the principal value is 18,000 multiplied to time which is 1.5 when converted to years. So this is 1.5. Using my calculator, this is 16,000 or 1,620 divided by the product of these two values. So we place it in grouping. We have 18,000 times 1.5. Close parenthesis. Hit enter. And this should be 0 0.06. Converting this to percent, this becomes 6%. Move the decimal place to places to the right. So this is 6%. That is item 
number two. Computing for the rest of the items, we have item number three. This is the solution and we have the same answer on the spreadsheet for the final amount and the interest amount. Item number four, we have a final amount of 18,365 and a rate of 3.94%. And finally, item number five, we have a final amount of 38,561.88 and the interest amount is 3,061.88. This is now the summary of our computation. And I have presented spreadsheet computation and manual computation. Thank you for watching.